So in today's video, it's going to be all about the Action 5 Pro's focal lengths and field of view. I'm filming on the Pocket 3 at the moment, and that's got a focal length of 20 millimeters, but it also has a wide adapting lens, what you can snap on there, which reduces it to 15 millimeters. I just happen to have that with me. So I'll snap that on as I'm recording so you can see the difference. Just keep your eye on the tree there. And as you can see, that's made the field of view a little bit wider than the standard 20 millimeters. Again, that's 15 millimeter. I'll take it off and that punches in now to 20 millimeter. So now let's get the Action 5 Pro set up and go through the focal lengths and the field of views. Now do bear in mind, when you deactivate all stabilization, the focal lengths are gonna to differ to when you've enabled the Rocksteady, the Rocksteady Plus, Horizon Balancing and Horizon Steady. So now let's get straight to the testing. Here we go. So these first tests are gonna be a static camera position. And then after I've completed these tests sitting down, I'll be doing some walking vlogging style, going all through the same modes and focal lengths, just so you can compare there. Okay, so now we've got the camera in a fixed position. Let's just toggle through these modes. So we'll be filming 4K 30, aspect ratio 16.9. And in the top right there, that's where you'll find to the left, you'll have your stabilization modes, and to the right, you'll have your field of views. So first of all, we'll go in standard D-warp, deactivate all stabilization, and the focal length you'll get with that one is 14 millimeters. And then with the stabilization deactivated still, we we'll step up to wide, and now that's gonna give us a focal length of 10 millimeters. And then finally, we'll go to ultra wide, Again, with stabilization deactivated, the focal length will be nine millimeters. And now we're going to enable rock steady mode. We're still in standard D warp, but now it jumps to 15 millimeter focal length. And now we hit the wide option. And with the rock steady enabled, it's at 12 millimeter. And the ultra wide with rock steady enabled is now 11 millimeter. And now we're going to enable rock steady plus and filming in standard D-warp, the focal length will now jump to 17 millimeters. Then as we go into the wide option, we're gonna stay at a focal length of 17 millimeters, and the ultra wide, again, is gonna stay at 17 millimeter. And that's quite a funny one there, because on the Rocksteady Plus, standard D-warp, wide, and ultra wide, although they all say 17 millimeters, as you probably see from the screen there, as I'm toggling, it's actually jumping backwards and forwards, just like it does with the other modes. So I'm not sure if that's accurate to be fair, but I can only go in what the screen's saying. And now we're gonna enable horizon balancing. Now you'll only be able to get the field of view standard D-warp, and the focal length with this one is 17 millimeter. And then finally, we're gonna activate horizon steady, but as you can see in 4K, you don't have the option. So we're gonna have to switch down resolutions here to 2.7K and then you'll be able to find Horizon Steady. And again, you can only film in standard D-warp and the focal length on this one will be 19 millimeter. So now I've finished filming with the focal lengths and field of view from the Action 5 Pro in a static position. Let's change over to the vlogging style and toggle through the same modes. Here we go. So now I've finished with the Action 5 Pro in its static position. Let's change over to a vlogging style. Again, I'm going to toggle through all the same focal lengths and field of views as I've just done in the seating position. So at the moment, I'm filming with the camera. I would say it's around 40 centimeters away. I'm going to keep that same distance while I toggle through all the modes. Right, again, we're filming at 4K 30. We're in standard D-warp. And as you can probably tell from the footage, all stabilization is deactivated and this is a focal length equivalent of 14 millimeter. The field of view is now in wide, and this is a focal length of 10 millimeter. Now the field of view has jumped up to ultra wide, and now you're seeing a focal length of nine millimeter. And now you'll be able to tell I've enabled rock steady, as we've got a bit more stable footage here. So now I'm filming in standard D-warp, rock steady enabled, and the focal lengths at 15 millimeter. I've set the field of view to wide and now the focal length here is 12 millimeter. 
The field of view now is ultra wide. The focal length is 11 millimeter. Now this is where it gets interesting, so just pay attention to the focal lengths here. Now I've enabled Rocksteady Plus, standard D-warp, and the focal lengths at 17 millimeter. Now just keep an eye on everything. And the reason I've just said keep an eye on everything is because now I've changed the field of view to wide. Rocksteady Plus is still enabled, but the focal length still says 17 millimeters. Now when I were doing those static tests over there, I could see from the back of the screen, as I toggle through, it's punching in and out as though the focal length's changing. So that's a strange one, that. So let's just see what the ultra wide does. And now I've set the field of view to ultra wide, Rocksteady Plus enabled, and yet again, the focal length's at 17 millimeters. So I'm going to have to put a side by side comparison up in this ultra wide, Rocksteady Plus 17 millimeter focal length because as I've just said, as I toggle in the back of the OLED screen on the Action 5, it's punching in and out, as you'll see from the previous footage as I'm filming with the Pocket 3. So as I've just said, I'll put a three column side by side so we can really see if it's punching in or not. And now I've switched over to horizon balancing. Again, you can only have standard D-warp, and this is also the focal length equivalent of 17 millimeters. But with this, as long as I stay under 45 degrees, as in one of my previous videos, you'll see, the horizon should stay level. And now I've had to drop the resolution down to 2.7K because you can't film horizon steady in 4K yet, unless DJI get a future firmware which will enable that. So now I'm in 2.7K, Horizon Steady activated, it can only be filmed in standard D-warp and this is the focal length of 19mm. Now this is the one which punches in the most. And with this Horizon Steady you'll be able to rotate the camera 360 degrees and let's hope that's worked and back the other way. And the Horizon stood, should stay horizontal or have I been flipping upside down. Again, stay tuned to the channel because there's an in-depth tutorial with the Action 5 Pro covering the Horizon balancing against the Horizon Steady. So I hope you've enjoyed this video today and you found it useful. If you're wondering what the focal lengths and the field of views like with the newly released Action 5 Pro. So as always, do stay tuned to the channel as I'll be posting plenty more tutorials in the near future especially with this newly released Action 5 Pro. So for now, thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And bye for now.